is Rafaelin Marcela Meres. And my name is Michelia Vanessa Modiowi. We are participants at LPB National 2020 and we are from Genius School. Okay, try to imagine about your favorite fruit. Imagine if your favorite fruit can only be eaten a small part of the fruit and the others are thrown away and become waste. Just like what the imagine, just like what we imagined early, earlier, we will share a little about our research and tale. Paralysis characterization of pandanus conidus biomass, which has something similar to what we have imagined together. Pandanus conidus is an exotic fruit of Papua and Papua New Guinea, also scattered in Telu Kondama Regency. It's habitat in in the lowlands and is able to grow on soil that tend to be exit, exotic and not too fertile. In daily practice, this high nutrition for Adesconoideus is used as a food flavoring and natural coloring agent. In addition, Pananuscoideus has the potential to treat disease. Unfortunately, all the Pananuscoideus processing activities that have high value produce waste. Pananuscoideus skin waste can produce solid waste up to 43% of its weight of its wet mass with an ash content of less than 1% and a high coincidence protein. One solution to the Pananus conoideus problem is to take advantage of the nature of the Pananus conoideus, which has the potential to become biomass. Biomass usually consists of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Biomass also usually has water content and, and high flying substance, salt, salt, carbon content, and relative low painting value, but very low S content. Panerus conoideus also has gross energy reaching 6,300. 6, 16 kilo calorie per biomass is a mixture of hydrocarbon consisting of carbon hydrogen and oxygen with a small amount of sulfur and nitrogen biomass includes a variety of natural and derived materials such as a wood and herbaceous species wood waste baggage sawdust agricultural residues biosolids Grass, aquatic plants, grass and aquatic plants. The characteristic of biomass also usually have high moisture content and flying substance, solid, car solid, solid carbon content and relatively low handing value, but the S content is very low. There are several scales used to classify energy content, moisture content, S content, tar, ash, and slagelin. In understanding the use of biomass as an alternative energy, it is necessary to look at the pyrolysis characteristic of biomass. The thermal proper properties where you were ah, eh. the thermal property were tested using two types of tests, namely the thermal te, namely the thermogravimetric analysis or TGA. TGA. TGA is a technique of analyzing the relationship of temperature and time to mass loss, which is carried out under an inert or oxidative atmosphere. With the high potential for, for process with the high potential from processing pandanus conoideus, 
the problem of fruit skin waste need to be addressed immediately. The study aimed to determine the paralysis characteristic of pandanus, bio, pandanus conoideus biomes. The research design the research design is laboratory experiment with data quantitative. The dependent variable is the dependent variable is the combustion characteristic of biomass seen from the result of its physicochemical analysis and thermal analysis, and the independent variable is the burning rate per minute. The procedure is first sample preparation, second proximate ultimate and no cellulose analysis, third thermography analysis, and fourth burnout temperature analysis. Pananus conoideus have a water content or MC, which is directly from biomass, which has a water content of less than 10% is considered suitable for use as a staple in the pyrolysis process. In addition, the biomass contains high volatile substance or VM. The high VM value indicates the age with which the biomass will burn. In other words, the higher the VM value, the more easily the bi biomass will react. The, the value of the S content or AC of the biomass shows a party take below 10%. The lower the percentage of S content, the better the process. The ultimate analysis of the Paradis Conideus biomass was listened by following the table. Dignocellulose analysis of Panadus conidus biomass. Carbose values is still very much needed because it acts as a combustion feeder. The sample had a high carbon content, also showing a higher ratio of cellulose compared to hemicellulose and lignin. It also show heating value of 1,030... 1,000... Eh, 1, 6,345 kJ. TGA is carried out in a temperature range of 30 until 600 degrees Celsius, an inert atmosphere with five different heating rates. Low heating rates variation are used in non-isothermal research models so that the maximum mass transfer and heat transfer can occur. The TGA's curve show are there are two degradation zones. The first zone is the zone where degradation is maximum, while the second zone is the zone where degradation occurred at the rate of less than 11%. Each zone boundary temperature range is indicated. The three samples started the maximum degradation with an energy conversion of up to 58.8% at 250 until 380 degrees Celsius, followed by a slow conversion to 12.5% at the latter temperature. The degradation of waste biomass occurred in three stages.
First, the step of removing water content and like molecular components. Second, the pyrolytic stage is active. The third, soil recomposition stage. The results show at as the heating rate increase, the overall reaction time is slowing down. The conclusion of the research is Hyannus colloidus waste shows show a potential to be biomass based on its pyrolysis characteristic. The biomass undergoes three main degradation stages: removal of water content and like and like molecules. Degradation of cellulose and hemicellulose have as, we, as well as the composition of lignin. In future research, is it necessary to continue with the estimation of genetic parameters, if necessary, equipment with a different differential scanning colorimetric assay and FTR, FTIR. Furthermore, this study can be used for improve the quality of coal and will be carried out by applying the copyrolysis technique. As we know, coal is very limited, but its use is still very much needed. Papua's potential coal source reach 153 million tons which is predicate, predicted to support Indonesian energy fulfillment for the next 1500 years. But coal is one of the contribution factor for greenhouse gas with contribution of up to 38%. Copyrolysis is the composition process of organic compounds using heat without or with a minimum amount of oxygen and combining two or more types of food, producing a food known as hybrid coal. At the end of our presentation, we quote a sentence from someone who is also called James Kimmer, who said that Waste is only waste if we waste it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.